Have you ever wondered how much of our daily discourse is steeped in bullshit? The term as defined by philosopher Harry Frankfurt might be more pervasive than we realize. In his iconic essay, Frankfurt delves into the concept of bullshit, arguing that it's not just about lying or deception. Bullshit in Frankfurt's view is something far more insidious. It's a statement that seems plausible but isn't necessarily rooted in truth. The person who speaks bullshit may not be intentionally trying to deceive, but they also don't care about the accuracy of their statements. It's this indifference to truth that makes bullshit so potentially harmful. Consider Frankfurt's anecdote about philosopher Ludwig Wittgenstein and a woman named Miss Pascal. When Miss Pascal, feeling unwell, likened her condition to a dog that had been hit, Wittgenstein chastised her for speaking nonsense. This story underlines how bullshit can easily become part of our everyday language, often slipping by unnoticed. Some individuals are skilled at disguising their bullshit, often using vague references to the past or future. Statements like, the man of the future will be different from any other man who has existed, for him, truth will not be real, but an artifact of the past, can sound profound but are ultimately meaningless. Yet, they can be hard to identify as bullshit because of their apparent depth. Frankfurt suggests that we often mistake specificity for truth and generality for bullshit. But his definition of bullshit goes beyond just vagueness or ambiguity. It's characterized by a lack of concern for the truth. By this definition, much of philosophy and poetry, which often deal in ambiguities, could be considered bullshit, leaving only science and mathematics in the realm of non-bullshit. Despite the negative connotations, Frankfurt acknowledges that bullshit is a natural part of human communication. He even discusses bullshit sessions, where friends freely explore ideas without fear of being silenced. These sessions can provide a platform for the expression of latent ideas and can have value in certain contexts. However, Frankfurt warns against the more dangerous form of bullshit, where someone is expected to comment on a topic they know nothing about. This type of bullshit can mislead and misdirect, causing harm when the lack of knowledge is revealed. Frankfurt's advice is simple. Refrain from discussing topics you don't understand. Bullshit is prevalent in many aspects of society, from politics and business to marketing and media. Politicians often make empty campaign promises or use vague language to avoid committing to specific policies. Business leaders may use jargon and buzzwords to make their company's financial performance sound better than it actually is. Self-help gurus promote quick-fix solutions or make grandiose claims without providing evidence to back them up. Social media influencers may promote products or lifestyles they do not understand or believe in. In conclusion, it's crucial to be aware of the prevalence of bullshit in our daily lives. This awareness can help us navigate the world with a more discerning and critical eye allowing us to separate the wheat from the chaff, the truth from the bullshit.